So today, I'm going to do something fun for my husband. He got me this because I've been wanting it. It's one of those, well, I don't know what you call it. I, mortar and pestle, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it properly, but I just call it a stone mill because that's pretty much the same thing, but this is what it's really called. Well, anyways, this is the brand that we got and it's pretty big. That's how big it is. That's the brand. And it was only $14.99 at Costco. And I looked on the internet and it's like, I don't know, like 30 or 50 bucks. But it's pretty big and it's pretty heavy. And I have to season it. And so I looked up on the internet on how to season it. And so you're supposed to rinse it with warm water. No soaps or anything like that or detergents or anything like that because it will get absorbed into these like little pits because it's made out of a stone. They said it's most likely made out of a, a volcanic stone. Not sure what this one was made out of. I haven't gotten into that much of a detail. So they say on the internet that you wash it with lukewarm water and then let it dry. And then you take rice, just regular white rice, and then you just grind it. And these are the two methods you can use, is you get everything in the middle, and then you pat it like this, and then you grind it. I wouldn't suggest going like this, because you'll probably break it, so you want to get all the stuff that you're grinding, and beat it like this and then do this grinding motion. Now I've been grinding stuff. Okay, so when my husband gets home for lunch, which is in about an hour, I am gonna have a guessing game. And so this is what I grinded first, which is the white rice. It's pretty powdery. Well, I got bored with that, so I thought, well, if I'm gonna season it, I might as well just grind a bunch of crap. So, this is kosher salt, and it, it grinded it so fast compared to the rice. The rice took forever. It's like powdered sugar. So, what I'm grinding now, just for fun, is red pepper flakes. I have some red pepper flakes. And it's kind of hard to grind those down, um, mainly because they're so flat already. So I don't think that's a success. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. But the things I'm going to grind are going to be almonds and what else was I thinking of? I can't remember. But yeah, so what I have learned is when you grind stuff, especially rice, it flings all over the place. So what you, what I did was I just kind of wrapped the towel around like this because you basically know what you're doing and you just check on it and just make sure you want to hit the middle, not the sides is what they told me on the internet because you don't want to break it. Get all the stuff in the middle and then it doesn't really, like this soft stuff, like salt and stuff like that, doesn't really fling all over the place. But I notice that the rice, so I mash it down. And when I grind it, it starts flicking everywhere. But I just figured, I put my wrist in there. I know what I'm doing. So, just go like that is what I have learned in my hour of experience. So I had the retake some of this so some of the video footage might be different but and what I have in here now is almonds and I thought ooh, you know the almond oil might not make it too powdery but it's actually doing quite nicely although it's making my um what do you call it the stone thingy a little oily which is fine because that's going to add seasoning to it but I noticed that I've been using my 
entire arm and pressing down as hard as I can. Well, not really as hard as I can, but applying a lot of pressure and using my entire arm like this, you know, to crush this. And I said, man, people back in the day must have had like arms of steel or something. And then I realized I was remembering movies when they were using this. And I noticed that sometimes they have the little one and they just go like this, the like the doctors and stuff. And then I realized, oh, when I go like this and not press down as hard, it does the same exact thing and it totally saves your shoulder. So that's what I've been doing. So what I have in here now is almonds. And it looks looks pretty good. So I'm gonna crush as many things as I can. But let's see how well this almond stuff does. It's still kind of what was it? Chunky. So. So this is the almond so far. I kind of had to stop because they have natural oils in them and they started to turn into a paste. So I'm sure if I added oil to it, I can make almond butter. But I'm going to stop doing that because I don't want to make paste. And the next thing I'm going to try is some steel cut oats and see how well that does. So the oats, the steel cut oats is actually working pretty nicely so when I was looking up on you know the maintenance and the care of this thing I Wikipedia the this thing I'm not gonna try and pronounce it cuz I'll probably get it wrong but it dates uh, scientists have found ancient this thing 35 uh, back or dates back to 35,000 BC and they use it they found them all over the world they used it for medicine you know for the their pills and potions and I know in Japan when I was growing up there they would make rice cakes with this um, not necessarily this one but a big wooden one that you would actually use a mallet I remember helping doing that in kindergarten. The mallet was probably taller than I was, so it took a, three of us to do it. So I, I cheated on this one. Whoops, sorry. I cheated on this one, kind of strained it out. I'm sure if he grinded it more, but that's what I took out of it. But there's some green powder. I'm sure if you sat for longer. I'm, I've just been grinding. So what I have here is rice that I grinded. Which is probably the hardest because it was so, you know, ricey. And this was the kosher salt. And this was the steel oats. These are the peas, but I cheated on that because I pulled those out. These were the almonds. And these are the crushed red pepper flakes. And I have one more of these plates left, so I thought, yeah. I'll do some sweet tarts because I have about 10 pounds of them because anybody that knows me, I love sweet tarts. And I wouldn't say that yellow is my least favorite. It's probably green, but if I had neon green stuff in there, you would probably guess that it's some kind of candy. So, in go the yellow sweet tarts. And we'll see how that goes. So, the sweet tarts actually took, like, hardly any time at all. But I noticed that when I'm pounding like this, everything on my counter was dancing. So, I put um, a pot holder up underneath my towel. I have the towel to catch everything. Well, at least attempt to. And it actually helps absorb the, the shock. But... As I'm grinding these sweet tarts, I realize now I can make my own pixie sticks. 
Too bad they discontinued orange sweet tarts was my absolute favorite. Otherwise I'd I'd make orange pixie sticks. Well, I'm gonna have all this ready and get rid of all my evidence and I think this might go into two videos um, when, I, when I get back. Um, I'm going to hopefully just ask my husband to see if he guesses what all these things are. So I have peas, crushed red peppers, rice, kosher salt, teal oats, and almonds, and yellow sweet tarts. So stay tuned. We'll see how well he guesses. So in review, this is what I got at Costco for $14.99, and I used, I seasoned it today by grinding a bunch of stuff, and John did come home at lunchtime and guess. So these are the guesses he gave me. So first, this is the kosher salt. He guessed that right. He said salt. This one... He also thought was salt, which is indeed um, rice, but it's probably because he tasted this the salt first and then tasted this, But so I'll give him that one. So that is rice. That was probably, uh, probably the hardest to grind. And then this one, which is steel cut oats, and he guessed some kind of flour. I'll give him that one too because it is kind of, it feels like flour. This one he guessed right, which is almonds. This one he gave me a bitter face look and said some kind of pepper, which is correct. It's uh, red pepper flakes. And then this one, I didn't think he was going to guess this one, but he guessed that one, that one right, and it's peas. I'm really surprised he guessed that one. And then this one, he said it was Smarties. He thought it was Smarties, which it's yellow sweet tarts. So I'll give him that one too. But those are my results. If you have any questions, I'm no expert. This is like two hours of my expertise. So if you have any tips or something or recipes, I would love for you to post recipes in my comments on recipes to use this bad boy. Except for guacamole, because I don't like I don't like avocados. But anyways, thank you for watching.